Ride the Valley for Soldier On is coming up this weekend. Liz Murphy is here, ride coordinator and good friend of ours. How are you? Gone great. Thanks. Good to see you. Good Thanks. to see you. Also joining you is uh, retired Major Dan Fleming. How are you? Great. Good to have Thanks. you on the program. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Nice yeah. to meet you. Yeah. Hey, you. you got some big things going on this weekend. Well, we do. This Ride the Valley is a poker run. It's a motorcycle ride through the valley, mm -hmm. and it's a fundraiser for our Soldier On Winter Sports Clinic. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, give us some background on Soldier On and what it all means, Dan, if you wouldn't mind. Well, Soldier On uh, has originated with the Canadian Paralympic Association yeah. in conjunction with the Canadian military uh, mm -hmm. to look after injured soldiers. Uh, uh, they come back after uh, some of the conflicts we right, have here. Right. And uh, in, in our case, uh, a bunch of us have been going to the, the U.S. Uh, Disabled Veterans Winter Sports Clinic in Colorado right. for years, and we, we were discussing a bunch of Canadians helping out down there, why we were, weren't doing this for our own people. So yeah. uh, uh, there's a couple of organizations got together, one in B.C., Quebec, and then yeah. us two years ago. Exactly. Uh, we've created our own. So. It's fantastic, eh? It's yeah. a great thing to be doing. Excellent, yeah. Now, uh, you're, you're inviting all kinds of motorcycle riders. It doesn't matter what kind of motorcycle you have, but everybody's welcome to come, right? It is. It's going to be a day at the mountain. We're running the chairlift. We have a pig roast going on. There'll be vendors, and just come on out and walk on the mountain. Come see the bikes. And for the riders, uh, registration is between 8 and 10, mm -hmm. and then the poker run begins at 1030, and mm -hmm. they ride the valley and they come on back for a big old pig roast. There's no better place to ride a motorcycle, I'll tell you that right now. That's beautiful. That's what they say. It's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the pig roast and all that stuff is in the, the rides on the chairlift up for grabs for everybody. Right? Wonderful. Because yeah. you, got, you guys kind of try and keep things rolling there during the, uh, the spring and summer months too. You don't, We do. You There's know. all, all kinds of things. Four season resort. Yeah. 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 Is there still snow on the hill? There is a tiny little patch. <laughs> I thought maybe there was, that's funny. Eh? Yeah, Not a tiny little patch. No. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you've had, uh, I know our good friend Carolyn Waldo has been in this uh, this particular. Uh, she was in this very sit ski. Yeah. yeah, and the sit ski is a fantastic innovation. Eh? It is, it's incredible. It yeah. allows. Uh, people the flexibility and not only that you look at a family uh, unit with a bunch of skiers and somebody that uh, uh, needs assistance and so on this here allows anybody uh, from a paraplegic to a uh, right upper quad and so on yeah uh, to, to get out to get and enjoy out yeah. yeah yeah exactly yeah our first year we had six soldiers this past February we had 11 and the program's growing the chief of defense made a visit to the program this year which was a real highlight yeah here's some uh, some pictures actually <laughs> of uh, of soldiers uh, getting out, and there's the chief of defense right there. Uh, now, getting this out is on a single the amputee that uh, yeah. uh, we've trained here. And, right, uh, so you train or you train single amputees, amput yeah. double amputees, everybody. Yeah, yeah, we've had both. And, and uh, that's the sit ski in action right there, that's right? That's a mono skier, uh, somebody that's actually capable of skiing himself. Yeah. Wow. Uh, that is so cool when the, you see that sort of thing. The confidence that people get from assisted skiing transcends into their lives and their families. And it's an exciting program, and we're really, really excited with the growth of the program. Yeah, well, as, uh, as uh, Major Dan would know, uh, getting back into regular life and being able to do regular things is very important in one's recovery, uh, you know, physically yeah. and mentally, right? Yeah, you just have to th think that uh, if you can conquer a mountain, then you can do almost anything. So once you seems give reasonable. People, yeah, you yeah. Give people uh, that kind of confidence build up. Yeah, they can do great things. We yeah. got to run, Liz. But when should people? Uh, how do people find out more? And do you need tickets in advance? Or you can uh, register that on the day of. Yeah. And go to calabogie.com. It's all there. Right? Yeah, it's all there. Thanks for coming by to see great, us. Thanks. Great, thanks. Thank you. Very thanks good to see us. you. That's a cool event coming up this weekend. Uh, Seven twelve. This is CTV Morning Live. Quick break. We got news headlines. Weather for you.